What's up everyone, Full Animix here. Welcome to Full 2023 Anime. What a year it has been for anime. Let me just say that. Uh, the start of the year kind of sucked and then it progressively got worse and then it picked a little bit back up in the last season. And now we're here at the end of the year. Um, this season is pretty all right, I would say. I wouldn't say it's the best season of the year. I'm pretty confident that went to summer for the last season, but this season still have some pretty good shows and I'm here to talk about the ones that I am watching. Watching. I would like to preface that I'm not going to talk about the shows that I'm not watching because I'm not watching a lot of shows and that's just because I haven't caught up on most of them. A lot of them are sequels like Goblin Slayer and Dr. Stone, which I've just straight up ignored because I'm not caught up with any of them. But if you guys find any one shot shows that would be a really good recommendation, let me know. And also while you're at it, why not give this video a like and subscribe down below to see more of these videos more often. So without further ado and without more procrastinating, let's talk about Fall 2020. Anime. First up, we have Emirates in Shadow Season 2 Electric Boogaloo. Now, what can I not say about this show? This show is such a stature in the anime industry. So many shows want to be what this show is, but they just cannot. There is no other anime in the world that can be Emirates in Shadow. The amount of corny, stereotypical shit that is in this show amazes me. If you guys don't know what this show is, it's basically just an edgelord fantasy and it kind of plays onto that. I'm really surprised that this show isn't under the parody tag because this show is so fucking funny that <laughs> it cannot take itself seriously because this shit is just borderline goofy. Like there's an episode where he just says the same one line because one other character said something cool. So he decided to copy that character and start saying all the shit that they said and it's just like, oh, okay. But I do like this show because it's very bad and it's sort of the staple of guilty pleasure shows. This is what I look for when I want to watch a show and turn my brain off. Up next, we have Spy Family Season 2 Electric Boogaloo. I'm going to be saying that a lot. I'm sorry. Now, I didn't finish the second core of the last season because I had better stuff to do with my time. <laughs> but I've sort of just hopped back into it and nothing's changed. Anya is still trying to be friends with the boy and she's still doing that. <laughs> it's It's been two seasons and they're still doing that. But I guess that's what you would describe Spy Family. It's more like a slice of life at this point. It kind of pushes aside the plot a little bit and it kind of plays on the fact that it isn't really going anywhere. But that doesn't mean I don't like the show. I really like most of the characters and I think it's really good that I'm able to just pop in and just watch a normal episode of Spy Family without needing context. Not many other shows this season can do that, especially for a second season, technically third season. So I, I, I respect that. Freerun Beyond Journey's End. The anime that Gigak recommended and got widely popular because famous YouTuber make video on thing becomes popular. But it is very well deserved. I really, really like Freerun. I think it's a very different take on fantasy that we haven't really seen much. Because it always just focuses on the hero's journey, you know? Defeating the demon lord, going through and adventures and perils and stuff. But this takes a very unique and sort of dark turn to what a fantasy could be. A story of an elf outgrowing all their friends just to create new ones and go on another journey. It's just really creative. And of course, Big Daddy Madhouse is behind the project and you know they can cook pretty well. So yeah, if you guys aren't watching Free Ren, this is my number one pick for everyone to watch. I definitely think it's worth the recommend. Up next is The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 3 Electric Big... Oh, that doesn't make sense. Now, I'm a boo real. Season 2, kind of stinks. You know, it was kind of stinky, all right? It was, it was a little bit dragging on, but we got through it and now we're here for season three. And can I just say the opening kind of fucking slaps? <laughs> like it has some of the best animation I've seen this season and it's just, just kind of looks nice, you know? But yeah, there's not really much to say about Shield Hero. It's another season of Isekai that everyone wanted. Um, I'm not really sure how the season's going to progress because I don't know if there's going to be a season four. I don't know if it's going to be split into two cores or two parts or whatever the fuck happened because of Attack on Titan. But I do really like Shield Hero. It's got a little spot in my heart for all the trash isekai that I watch. And it's not that trash, it's just eh. Berserk of Gluttony talking about bad fantasy shows. This is it. <laughs> the main character's fucking name is called Fate. All right. There's not much else that can get worse than that. Uh, but yeah, Black Swordsman Man gets OP ability and yeah. 
Haven't seen that before. I don't know, man. This is just one of those guilty pleasure shows that you kind of just flick on and you just turn your brain off and then 20 minutes later you realize, oh, it's over. Oh. Okay. And then you just move on with life, you know? It's just one of those shows. There's not really much I can say about the show because it's really textbook if you really look at it. This guy gets a skill called gluttony. He has to kill people or ogres or goblins or whatever in order to not starve to death. <laughs> That's, that's literally the plot. But yeah, it's sort of just a guilty pleasure show. I'm probably not even going to watch all of it. Or I might watch all of it. I don't know. I'm very inconsistent. The Demon Sword Master of Excalibur Academy. Light novel. These fucking light novel titles are so terrible, all right? Let's, let me go through a couple that I'm not going to talk about, all right? We've got, I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness. What the fuck? My daughter left the nest and returned an S rank adventurer. Wow. Really getting to the point. <laughs> a playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life. I wonder what that show's about. But it's like those light novel titles that somehow suck you in and just brainwash you into doing shit. Like Demon Sword of Excalibur Academy is a harem reincarnation show that's basically an isekai. And it's set around a high school and he's overpowered as shit. I could create a bingo list actually. Next video, next... <laughs> <laughs> For winter of 2024, I'm gonna make a bingo sheet and we're gonna do that. But yeah, it's just another guilty pleasure show. I don't know why I'm watching it. Don't ask me. Let's move on. The 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. This is a show that got memed a bunch because apparently there's a panel in the manga where it just shows the fucking declaration of independence and everyone's just like, ha ha ha, how are they going to adapt that? And then when it got finally announced for an adaptation, everyone's going to be like, oh, how is this going to be adapted? And it's probably just going to be really boring. It's just going to be the guy just talking for five minutes. But yeah, it's a, it's a rom-com. It's a fucking parody. Do not take this show seriously and have fun with it. Our dating story, the experience you and the inexperienced me. Beta Cuck finds an experienced Gara and Fox. Eventually. I mean, they've gotten straight to the point. He doesn't want to fuck her because he has a bit more dignity than that. And the girl's just really like, oh my god, he doesn't want to bang me. Oh my god, he really cares about me. Oh my god. And I've totally never seen this before, ever. I just hate shows like this. This is this is like the shows that I really nitpick about because it's very unrealistic. But it's a brainless show that I'll brainlessly read, watch, I don't know. Fuck. Undead Unlock. This was a show that I was not planning on talking about and watching. I ended up watching it and I really love it. This show is made by David Production, who are behind the production of JoJo's. And I was just like, ayo, what? Apparently this is a very popular manga that got very recently adapted into anime. And everyone's just like, oh my God, holy shit. And I watched the first couple of episodes and you know what? This shit kind of cool. I think it's a very unique take on supernatural superpower shows, I guess, because there's so much well building that I want to find out. The show does a very good job of not explaining too much, but also gripping you by the balls of you wanting more, which I think is really good. But yeah, this is also another recommendation that I would give out. I think it's a really good watch. And apparently it's getting two cores. We're going to have another season of this. How fucking lit is that? And finally, we have Girlfriend Girlfriend Season 2 Electric Boogaloo. I probably like this show a little bit too much. I think this show was fucking hilarious in the first season because he just has a girlfriend then confesses to another girlfriend and then says to himself i don't want to let these two beautiful women get away so decides to date them both and then we get two more women who are there I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's another guilty pleasure show. Don't really have anything to say about it, really. It's pretty self-explanatory. And that's about all I'm watching for the season, which is not a lot. I'm, I'm not really watching a lot. Also, another thing to talk about is Attack on Titan is finally finishing, guys. Is it really, though? Is it really ending? Are Mappa finally going to end a show? We'll find out, I guess. I've been meaning to make an Attack on Titan video for so long, but they keep fucking making more of it, guys. They keep fucking making more of it. I don't need any more Attack on Titan, you know? It's already a good show. I want to talk about it. So fucking end it already. Please, man. I need content. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.